Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is a really fun day because I finally, finally got my Erin Condren Life Planner for 2019. I know, I know, I should have bought this a while ago when they first came out, but I didn't. I wanted to wait and decide what I really wanted. I decided to go with something kind of different this year. So I'm very excited to share all of the details as well as do a walkthrough. I am gonna find somewhere in my archives, my walkthrough of my 2018 planner. I'll put it up in the card thing up here somewhere. I do have my 2018 planner here. I have like sticky notes and stuff on the very front of it right now. But I wanted to hold on to this for reference for some of the pages if I wanted to like see the differences. But anyways, um, first things first, there is a ruler. It's right in the very front. I'm gonna pop this off right now. And it does have this like little protective film, so you can pull this off. Ta-da! Some people think they're blue, they're not, they're clear. And this has the new Woven Wonder pattern on it. So I decided to go with the Lux Planner this year. So what that means, it's like a hard, coiled in planner. So what that means is it's a hard cover planner. So this is all coiled in. You can't remove this. I mean, I guess you probably could remove it at some point, but it's meant to be a permanent cover. However, you can lay other covers over it if you want to. Um, let me show you what that looks like real quick. So here's just like the cover that I currently have on mine. So you can push this in if you want. I know this is gonna kinda look a little wonky, but that's okay. Okay, so if you can see, you can put a other Erin Condren cover over it. It will stick out just a little bit, um, but you know, if you want to have something, you know, like more seasonal or something like that on your planner, you can if you do the Lux, but it does, this hangs over just a little bit, but that doesn't really bother me if like, say you want like a Halloween cover or something like that, I think it would be totally fine. Okay, so moving right along. Um, I decided to go with the customized foil, and you guys know me, I usually am not like big into customization, but I thought that this would be really nice. And it just has FDE, which is my channel initials. Also, because this one came with only the gold foil option, I decided to go with a gold coil this year. I think the first year I had an Erin Condren planner, which is like, I don't know, four years ago now, um, I got a gold coil as well. But ever since then, I've always had the platinum coil Coils just because I'm like, I don't want to pay 10 bucks more. Like, I don't need to do that. But I felt like platinum coil with gold would kind of look a little funny. I don't know. This pattern is the Woven Wonder pattern. It is the new pattern for the 2018-2019 season. The two colors that they have in the Lux cover are this one, which is like the colorful one. It has more of a navy background and then it has all of the different colors on it. There is also a black one that then has the white pattern all over it. And I can't remember what color foil that one comes with. I can't, I don't know, I can't remember y'all. But that's okay, but I decided to go with this one. And then on the back side is the navy with some kind of like this lighter powder blue in there, like more, more like an indigo blue color. Um, so obviously in the front cover, normally you have this little whiteboard. If you really wanted a whiteboard, you could definitely tuck this in and um, you know, not have that many issues if you really wanted to like a dry erase board or something on there that could definitely work for you so in the very front i haven't really opened up anything at all except for just the front cover now with you guys but this is a little like sampler thing they do this it seems like every year they do some sort of iteration of this so it looks like you get three compliment cards uh, two cards for a family and friend discount for 20 percent off your next purchase and then you know one for you and one for a friend and then there's some gift labels, there's two of those, and then also a coil clip connector, um, which is great because the first year that I got an Erin Condren, there were these little pouches, which are fantastic, but they were already adhered inside of the book, and I believe it was in the back. But you get this Erin Condren coil clip, so the idea is that you can you know, snap this in or, you know, put adhesive on this and then you can snap it in wherever you want to and then you can like pull it out and put it back in and do whatever you want to with that. And then you get the pouch, which is fabulous and it has a little slide on here. Oops, here's the slide. 
So then you can, you know, put things in there, or do whatever you'd like to do. So here is my like two coupons. I'm not gonna turn it around because I'm probably gonna use my coupon as well as give it, give another one to a friend. And then two stickers that say enjoy. This one is in gold and it has the same pattern as the front of the planner. And it says to and from, some cute little gift labels. And then this one is kind of like more of a peachy color and then has my favorite thing, rose gold. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And then here are the three compliment cards. Oh, cool. I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen compliment cards that have the um, foil on them. I don't know. Maybe this is new for this year. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have. I have no idea. Okay. But anyway. All right. So let's put all this fun stuff over to this side. And then as you walk into the planner, as always, there is the vellum page. And this is the colorful life planner in the hourly layout. That's what I decided to go with for this year. I always love my planner to start in January and then end in December. I know a lot of people like the option to do the summer months as well. You know, I don't know. Everyone gets to kind of like a choice now, which I think is really nice. So anyway, so this is this and then the paper feels the same as last year and that just says like this is my life and then you can put your name or whatever on there oh oh I got two pages oh cool <laughs> there we go I don't know maybe if I screw up then I have another one <laughs> that's all right I'm not mad at that and in the front there's a little quote page and it says you have everything inside you to be and do anything you want and then we have go right into the layouts for the rest of 2018 and then 2019. I think the reason they do this is because you do have the option to start your planner in July and go all the way to December 2019. But like I said, mine starting in January and going through December. You can also do July through June. So there's a bunch of different options on the website. And links will be below as always. Love that it has the Woven Wonder pattern at the top. I'm like really into the Woven Wonder. Um, last year was, what was it, the pastel one? And I just kind of didn't, I wasn't like totally into the pastel like the pastel petal petals petals painted petals that's what it was oh my gosh it took me a while to like really get there um I wasn't that into it mainly because I felt like it kind of looked like Dalmatian spots I mean I don't know if I was the only one that thought that but I just I don't know I wasn't into it but that's all right I'll show you what I'm talking about these I don't know just wasn't into it last year. That's all right though. So anyway, let's move along. And then this page here has 12 boxes, all different color codes. And the idea is you could do goal setting and things like that, as well as you could label all of these for specific months and put in like, you know, birthdays or anniversaries or I don't know, whatever you want to do or just keep track of things. I mean, I don't know. Um, to be honest, I don't think I've ever used this in any planner. Yeah, I don't think I have, but maybe this year, you never know, you never know. And then what I'm very excited about is that this page, hold on, let me show you. This page in the old planner is now gone. Thank God. I know some people really loved that thing, but I just couldn't get a handle on that page. It just kind of drove me a little berserk. So I love that there's just lined pages. I know that there's a lot of sticker shops out there that make the template for that. So you could still like have those little circles and the columns and all of that. But I like the less structure it's possible. I don't, that's not like grammatically correct. I'm sorry. But I like, the least structure as possible because if I want to then design something for myself or whatever, in January, I might have like a really great idea and I might do a bunch of columns and like all this other stuff. And then in February, I might wanna do something different. So I like that it's just lines. It's kind of more of a guideline, but you can kind of do whatever you want to. So anyway, that's my little soapbox on that. So thank you to the Erin Condren team for changing that. I'm very, very appreciative. So going into January, um, the January, like the pages that have the um, tabs on them are always a little bit thicker than the rest of the paper. And that's to be expected. It's been like that for quite a while. Um, new changes with this. So looking at the 2018 planner versus this one is um, not too much has changed. However, 
I love that the new one has the new month moving forward. Down here, obviously, it, it's still the same, like the little notes area is still exactly the same. It still has the lines, which the lines are like the little dots like they had been. And then you've got like the little kind of page flag looking thing, but I love this because I don't know, I'm just not someone that uses this too often and I like to see like the month moving forward versus like buying a sticker or whatever. And the font it looks like is exactly the same on everything and the colors are just like a little bit more muted this is like a little brighter than normal but these are just like a little bit more muted and I'm, I'm down with that all right and then so looking at the first weekly spread things are just slightly different as well okay so if you can see the big differences are the actual time slots and let me actually zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can see them a little bit better and then let me pull this down. I hope you guys can see okay now. So here's the new one, here's the old one. So the new one, when it's like 6.30, so right under the 6 a.m., the lines are very faint, just like the previous year. And then on the hour, so right above 7 a.m., the dots are larger and they're bolder. So, um, it kind of gives you more of that guideline without being like super aggressive. But um, in the old version, it just has the same dots all around and the same lines all around. And um, with this one, you have a little bit more definition, which is nice. Let me zoom you back out now. Also the same as the last year's version is the dot box is still the same and then you still have the checklist with the little circles. To be honest, I kind of hate the little circles but I don't use my sidebar that often to really care. I know some people really like the circles and I'm just not down with it but you know, to each their own. Again, I like really plain things, and if I really wanted the circles, I feel like I could make a circle myself, but I know that that structure is really, really nice for some people. So moving right along, as we go through, you have a little bit of the same coloration in the woven wonder pattern on the side, which I'm totally into. And I really like the colorful version. I know I went colorful last year, and I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know if I'll like the colorful, and I really did like it. I feel like it's just just enough color but not too aggressive with the color and I say that as I like turn to a bright pink page oh well <laughs> so anyway now we're into February and here's the February notes page and then also the February quote page and then we're in to February as well and then there we go but yeah I like that it has a little color on it but it's not like so much color like bam right in your face um, so yeah but then all of the months are exactly the same and they also have you know like the little thing at the end here so let's get all the way to the back and then let's chat about some of the other changes so at the very end of the planner in December are notes pages so there are a whole bunch of notes pages oh my gosh I got two of these too this is so weird <laughs> Okay, whatever. I'll use it. But they both have like the little tabbies on them. I got two tabbed pages. This is so funny. <laughs> Anyways, um, but anyway, I got a bunch of the lined pages as well as there are some dot grid pages and then the elusive coloring pages, which drive me batty, but whatever. It's fine. I'm not mad about it. I just won't use them. And then new for this year, and I think that this happened, like they had contact pages a while back. I was watching Jen Plans here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below if you guys wanna check her out. She is a huge Erin Condren fan, just like I am. And she was talking about a few years back before I ever got an Erin Condren that there was like a contacts uh, page. And she was so excited that they brought this back. So clearly in years past they had done this so there's like a name and then there's like two little asterisks so you can put some information in there I've heard some people are going to be using this for stuff in their home like if they have a homeowners association or their mortgage company or like people that service their home like a gardening service or an electrician or like you know just labor and things like that that they just want to keep track of they're putting that in there as well as I've heard people doing this like for passwords or for kids school stuff like teacher contact information and 
the nurse information at the school and I don't know, just like different things like that. And then on the next page over is looking into 2020. I absolutely love these pages because it's so easy to project new events that'll be coming up in the new year. Obviously 2019 has not started yet, but um, 2020 is knocking on the door anyways. But you know, how often do we get vacation scheduling information or wedding invites or things like that, like little save the dates. It's kind of nice to just kind of like, okay, if I know in like July, 2020, that friend of mine's getting married and it's out of town, I can kind of put that in and make a little note on the date or something like that, just to kind of remember. So I can plan to not be here and arrange stuff for like me being gone for a while and all that stuff. But it's just kind of nice to kind of see it all like this. So when you move into your 2020 planner, things will get a little easier. I mean, that's at least the idea, right? And then also there's some boxes that says in the coming year. And then on the next page, Page, it just says arriving at one goal is the start of another and it just has some information on Aaron Condren over here is some of the sticker pages which I'm very excited to see because I know that there's a new one in here so I'm pumped about that this is one that was in the planner last year and it has all the foil in there so it's got the platinum foil rose gold and gold ah uh, this is new for this year oh this is cool um, so this has just a bunch of functional things as well as some of the little headers that say like shopping list, love this, let's do this, TGIF and a bunch of other stuff. And then some lists and checklists and all these other fun things. Ooh, this one's new too. Nice, okay. So this has just, it looks like more of a sampling of their other sticker sheets that they offer. Um, I'm gonna leave the Erin Condren website below, clearly, but there are a bunch of different sticker sheets that they do have now. This is just kind of a sampler of all of them, which is kind of nice. So a little deco sheet. And then you always have the tried and true little asterisks, um, which they, peel off like that. So they're just like little event stickers, which is very, very nice. Ah, and then in the very back is always a little pocket folder. So this has the front pocket, which is the larger pocket of the two typically. Yep. And it still has this little tiny pocket that kind of drives me nuts, but you know, whatever. And then they always tend to include a perpetual calendar. I've had several of these. I've used a few of these in the past, but, um, I know some people use them year to year and track birthdays and holidays and I don't know, things like that, but I don't know, I just can't get into it, but that's okay. I tend to always give this away to somebody. And the back cover is just like the front cover where on the interior it has the blue and kind of that light indigo color on the inside. And then on the back side, it has the woven wonder in the blue and color woven wonder pattern. All right, so that is it for my walkthrough of my 2019 Erin Condren Life Planner in the colorful hourly version with the gold coil. And and the Lux cover. I'm very excited about my cover. I'm also very excited to see how the cover holds up for a year. I'm not typically hard on my planners. However, I've only had the plastic snap-in planners every year with the covers. So I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I'm excited to try it out and see how the wear is on this. So if you got an Erin Condren planner or are planning on getting an Erin Condren planner for this upcoming season, so 2018, 2019, let me know in the comments down below which one you got and why you got it. You know, are you a colorful person? Are you a neutral person on the inside? Do you like the snap-in covers? Do you change them out often? What's your favorite pattern for this year? Let me know. I'm really always curious to know what people get and why they get it. So again, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe for more fun videos and hit the little red notification bell and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school.